be the most absurd arrest ever. You're arresting a professor of anthropology that we, runs a street theatre group. Professor for worse. In sickness and in health. This is a uh, minority report. Free crime. We've been arrested uh, for street theatre. Yeah, that's all the words we know, that's all the words we know. <laughs> we can't say anything else, we're not allowed to. The next demo. Why is he being arrested? Why is he being arrested? Why is he being arrested, sir? Why is he being arrested? Lots of shouts from the crowd here. And that's the reward. The first public kiss as husband and wife. Get back now! Get back! Go back! Don't assault me! Don't assault me! Walk back! Don't assault me! Don't assault me! It's on camera! Don't assault me! I don't appreciate being assaulted! No, I want his name! What's your name? What's your name? I want to see your ID! I want to see some ID! Who are you? Who are you? I've just been assaulted! I want to report an assault! Why are you touching me, sir? Hold on! There, please. Yeah. I've just been assaulted. Just relax there. A hint of a blush from Prince William. Why am I being detained and why are you pushing me? Pepper, the maid of honour, Prince Harry, finding it all very funny. And what about the officer hitting one of the, um, one of the other guys? Just if you saw that, go to the police station complain about it. Uh, I didn't see that. That wasn't there. So. Duke of Edinburgh sharing a joke. Up. Um, just bear with me one moment. I want to. What's the What's the issue? Okay, um, Mr. Beach, I'm arresting you as there are reasonable grounds to suspect that you've conspired with others to cause public nuisance in relation to the royal wedding. Oh, this this now an integral part of our royal wedding traditions. You're going to be searched under section 60, okay? Okay, for what reason, okay. sir? Well, there's a section 60 in place because of the, uh, the disorder that's been put out. It's been put, uh, authorised by um, Commander oh, Broadhurst. Okay, so my colleague's going to do you. Oh, okay. Then, wife of the Duke of York made their appearance on the balcony. The Met have been going round, rounding up people before the wedding to make sure there's no problems. Right. I've always joked that we don't live in China or North Korea, but actually times have changed. Times, times have, changed, have changed, haven't they? All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get ready. Everyone now waiting for the climax of this appearance, which will be the fly past by these powerful symbols of British resistance. Just stand there. So you've been detained. Uh, I'm Peter Lawrence from the T S G. In the, it, no, I clapped my shoulder number yeah. 5306. You've been detained under section 60, which is in this area. It's, yeah, it's been authorised by Superintendent um, Johnson. Now turn that off. A, a sense from Jacob, the excitement of the flight. Why are you in London, sir? Uh, am I obliged to answer that, sir? No, it's just polite conversation, isn't it? I'm not obliged to answer that, then, sir, yeah? If I'm not obliged, I will not answer that. That's totally up to you, but please do not put it close into my face. It's okay? not too close into your face. You have got my, your hand in yes. my pocket. You can imagine what kind of view he has. What? Whoa! Mo, seriously, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's not a breach of the peace. This is, this is a fucking joke. Guys, get cameras out. The world's smallest We are. Oh no, we're not going to squeeze in. I'm talking to you. There has been much speculation about what we are expecting in terms of protest or disruption. We would be wrong not to consider spontaneous protest as part of our contingency planning. But let us make it absolutely clear. This is a day of celebration, joy and pageantry. It is a fantastic day for Britain. Any criminals attempting to disrupt it, be that in the guise of protest or otherwise, will be met by a robust, decisive, flexible and proportionate policing response. Part of the operation includes taking action before the day. 
wherever possible to, to help us to achieve our aims of safety and security. I am wearing a, a costume, a fancy dress costume, right? And you're, you've got the audacity to say to me that you suspect me of causing a breach of the peace. You're having a laugh. Make sure that it all goes down your plan. The skyline, London, the Battle of Britain Memorial Pride, the majestic Lancaster, flanked by the Spitfire and the Hurricane. Great symbols of the British effort in the Second World War. that nationalism is maybe something that people can cling on to to hold us together because what else is there at the moment holding this country together? There are deep, deep cultural problems. And what does the monarchy symbolise, though? I mean, when I think of the monarchy, I think of poverty, of colonialism, imperialism. These are not things that I think should be continued. They're things that need to be changed.